And a very good morning. You are listening to the Body and Mind Health Directory for Professionals. My name is Antoinette Nirvana and Body and Mind is an online health directory uh, with uh, members offering different modalities for alternative healing. And today we're speaking to Karina Hubert. Um, she does Let's Face It and other modalities and she's going to tell us a little bit more about that. And welcome, uh, Karina. How are you this morning? Good morning. I am great, thank you. Good. So I read here, uh, let's face it, is a face pattern recognition uh, which will give you an understanding of your unique personalities and as well as those of others. So, um, and I'd love to, to kind of find out a little bit more about that and the other things that you have to offer. But before we do that, I want to know who is Karina Uber? How did you get onto this journey and, and to this particular modality of let's face it, if you could tell us a little bit more about that? I <clears throat> I was uh, in uh, the IT field uh, in information technology and within that I was a project manager which <clears throat> is a lot of stress and uh, which really got to me was the, the pain and the, 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 the stress that caused me all lots of sicknesses which then made made me end up going to alternative healers and I stumbled across kinesiology which then introduced me through that to personology which is really what the face pattern recognition is called nowadays um, it's the science of personology um, <clears throat> so I first did a correspondence course which assisted me quite a lot in uh, dealing with all the people that I saw on project management in, in, in the IT field and then when that came to an end in my, my world in corporate, I jumped on a plane in um, 2013 and went for the, the advanced training course for personality at the International Center of Personality in Northern California with Naomi Tickle. And <clears throat> that just um, was the beginning of a new journey for me. And um, it is just wonderful where it's taken me from there onwards. Wow, that's amazing. And, and now from the corporate world um, into the alternative healing world, do you still use a lot of this in the corporate world? Do you do you go into the corporate world and assist them with this type of, um, you know, knowledge? Unfortunately, I've not done as much as I would have, would have wanted to. Um, but I do use it like a team that as a team building tool um, where I teach people a few of the traits that you could see by just looking at the face and then how, how they uh, can get along better with the you know their colleagues and um, putting it through straight through to to home so it could really help you know them in all, all phases of life Wow, that's that's really good. And so anybody who's, uh, you know, listening to this interview, who's in the uh, corporate and office environment, this would be a great asset to, to kind of assist all the office dynamics and business dynamics, even with sales and stuff like that. So, okay, so now let's face it, um, give us a little bit more, obviously, now what what is this and, and, and give us a few examples, for, you know, how how this could help us and, and um, you know, how we can identify these strengths, strengths and challenges from each other and ourselves. So if you could tell us a little bit more about that and then also, you know, what else you have to offer and does it complement what you're doing with Let's Face It as well? Okay, good. Yes. Um, <clears throat> personology or the science of personality and face, or face pattern recognition, like we call it um, nowadays, um, can really make a difference in your life in many ways. Um, it is basically the behaviors of your personality that is linked to certain facial features. And those facial features are recognized by simple things in the face, like the, um, the size of uh, your nose and the, the, the width of your eyes, the, you know, the shape of the nose, uh, the position of the nose and the ears, for instance, the, the lips, um, et cetera, et cetera, height of eyebrows. So all those little trends has got a personality behavior connected to it. Um, so for instance, if we look at somebody with very, 
very high set eyebrows. So high set eyebrows will be qualified if you could fit in the eye between the eye and the eyebrow. Um, will be somebody that, that likes their personal space and would not like people touching them when they talk to them. They also have a very specific way um, uh, of, of wearing things, specifics with um, their clothing or with a brand or something like that. They also don't make lots of friends. They're friendly to you, but they have a few very close friends which they keep close to their heart. Uh, where people with the low set eyebrows, again, is people um, that would easily touch you when they talk to you. They're more laid back and they really enjoy um, touching people and, and hugging people. So not to say that the people with the high set eyebrows don't like that, but they are, they are very choosy and selective of who they want them to be hugged or not. And that is just some very simple explanation of how the face pattern recognition works and that the, the face pattern recognition um, you know, can be used in anything for any day and um, that is basically could be a strength and a challenge and if you know that this is my strength or my challenge I would know how to direct that and build better rapport with people because what we do is we try we tend to communicate from our own um, style of communication and our own personality and this is kind of adapting to the person that you're talking to especially if they are very different to what you are um, it would also you know help you in terms of your family and your partners or your customers um, a person that you don't get along with to understand why why is there the clash in personality for instance um, so if I could ask you just a quick question just with regards to that because the first thing that comes up for me right now is like you know we all have these different masks you know when we when we speak to people we have one mask with a family we have another mask with our lover or partner we have a different mask so these would be um, very revealing once person understands the face, uh, you know, facial recognition patterns. It'd be very revealing, even though we think we're masking, uh, somebody who knows this would be able to kind of be able to see right through it, correct? Um, yes and no. You know, you get a, a combination of clutters, uh, clusters, you know, of, of face patterns. Um, it, so it's not really unmasking the person, it's just really understanding why they react the way they do in certain circumstances. And then, you know, understand it will always be like that and you won't be able to change them. It's really when it's it's the patterns in the face that is connected to your blueprint, which is what you were born with and the way that you will respond when you're in a fight and flight situation. Okay, great. So that, um, that uh, you know, explains it a little bit better. Um, cool. And is there anything else with regards to this and what else you're having to offer that you can share with us in a, uh, just in a couple of minutes? Yes, with in, in terms of the, um, the signs of personality, what I do offer is I have a basic workshop where I teach you 30 of the different traits. So um, this was founded by a judge in the 1940s, um, a judge, Edward Vincent Jones, and he he um, identified 68 different traits in the face. And um, of those traits, uh, when I do a one-on-one -on -one, uh, situation with people, it takes about an hour and a half and it's measuring um, things in detail and then grid putting it on grids and according to those grids would show you on which side of that they are. There's 30 of those traits though that you can see by just looking at the face. And those traits I've put down in a, um, a half day a workshop where I teach people how to identify those traits. Like I've mentioned before, I also um, do team building sessions where we have, uh, you know, give people five or, or ten of these traits and they can play around with it, identified in each uh, other's faces, really look at each other and then um, understand that person better. And then I also do public speaking. So if anybody needs an interesting or something different in a um, uh, in 
in a ladies day or uh, any association um i am prepared to to actually do something like that, that as well that would be so much fun i could just imagine doing like a morning breakfast or you know ladies breakfast or you know and having something like this where you're bringing different people up and just having a bit of fun you know instead of being absolutely. it's scared about mm -hmm. what you are revealing with your face but really having fun with that that yeah. would be absolutely wonderful and then you also do kinesiology you said and um, you know can these things kind of work together or are they completely separate in in what it is you do um, you know the kinesiology actually led me to the personality um, in terms of people's face patterns um, we you know somebody could have had an emotional charge over a situation with another person earlier in their lives um, for instance abuse maybe of a let's call it a, a grandfather and they had a certain pattern of a nose and when they see somebody else and they don't know the person from Avara soap they just don't know why they don't like this person and it's that unconscious sort of pathway that was built in the brain that connected that shape of nose to that emotional stress that person was going through and for that reason they don't like this person so I pretty much use the personality a lot um, even in the kinesiology um, when people do you know this uh, it comes up um but uh, kinesiology is also totally <clears throat> you know unique in terms of that it it works exactly on what that per person needs we do muscle test and we tap right into the unconscious mind and find the you know the body energies that is not aligned and that's blocked maybe um you know hidden um, yeah emotions that is kept in certain organs emotions that is kept in certain organs in the body and we then um, align that and balance the body um, okay. so that it can increase your life you know energy Thank and your senses thanks karina i'm sorry that i'm having to cut in we are already heading for 12 minutes and uh, yes. so i would like to thank you for your time today and it sounds all very interesting if you could give me quickly where are you based and how can people get in contact with you please i have um an office uh, in westville which i work from one day a week on tuesday days and then I also work from the Fountain Medical Center in Amams and Toti and um, from my home office in Umkumas. Um, I also do distance healing uh, which I found uh, very um, uh, sufficient with people from Joburg uh, as I've moved here still uh, serving my clients there so even distance healing work quite well and then I also work on horses and dogs um, and um, actually very effective of, um, in terms of that too great and then of course lastly you can always look for Karina on our body and mind website and you could uh, in the search bar put let's face it um, or um, Karina you bear if you need to contact her and and explore this any further Karina I hope to have another conversation with you further down the line and we can maybe talk a little bit more um, in depth of either of the modalities and uh, I wish you a beautiful day and a beautiful week and and um, thank you for your time today thank you very much